in this video the min built-in function in Python 3. So we'll start with a look at the docs. Min actually has two ways you can do it, one with an iterable and one with two or more arguments. You'll notice the main difference is for the iterable, we have this optional default argument uh, that does not exist if you use the two or more argument pattern. And I'll show you what that looks like. First, we'll look at min with an iterable. So you could have a list like one, two, three, four, and the min will be one. And if you wanted to do an argument style, you could do one, two, three, four like this. You'll still get one, but what's happening is you have four arguments actually. Now we saw in the docs that if you use this iterable style, we have this default parameter available to us and we could put say 500 here and we're still gonna get one, um, but this default will come into play if our list is empty or our iterable is empty. And it doesn't have to be a list. We could do um, a tuple or we could do a set, whatever works. And that default will come into play if it's empty. Now, what if we wanted to do a default with this uh, multiple argument style? Well, we try to do default equals 500 and we're gonna get a type error that says that we cannot specify a default when there's multiple positional arguments. So if you wanna use a default, then just make sure you're using that iterable style. Next, let's do a little string comparison. So let's say we had coffee and we had tea. Which one do you think is the minimum here? Well, it's gonna be coffee. Does that seem unintuitive? Do you think that since coffee has a longer length, that it would be coffee? Um, you know that if you did coffee, that has a length of six, and if you did tea, that has a length of three. But that's not what we're comparing here. What we're kind of looking at is the order of these values in the ASCII table. Um, so here's a quick reminder that uppercase comes first, and then lowercase comes second. So um, if you, this was a min-max situation, the min would be an uppercase letter which might seem unintuitive. And then obviously A comes before C, or what did we do, coffee and tea? So C comes before T, so C would be the min here. And we could prove this with ORD. So if we did uh, C, that has 99, and if we did T, that's 116. So the min, of course, comparing 99 to 116 is gonna be 99. Now, if you wanted to compare coffee and tea and sort by length, what you could do is use the key argument and use len to sort. And now we're gonna get t. So you might be wondering what else could we use as the key here? So len super common. Another one would be string dot lower or upper. And so we have all lowercase letters here, but let's say we had t and c. Actually, let's remove this first. And what do you think is going to happen here? Well, the min is actually going to be t, a little bit unintuitive, because t comes first, uh, the uppercase comes first in the ASCII table, um, so t is lower here. But if we did that same thing with key equals string dot lower, then we're comparing a lowercase c and a lowercase t, and c is lower. So I'd say this two of the more common keys you'll see is len and then a manipulation of the string. The other big one for this key argument is you could use any function you want. So my function, whatever. So let's create a custom function and see what that looks like. So I have one here called some digit, and basically it just adds up the digits together, right? So it would be like one plus zero plus zero was one, uh, three plus two plus one is six, uh, et cetera. And so when we run this, the minimum is gonna be 100 because that kind of sums to one, where this would sum to six, that would sum to 14, that would sum to four. And if we remove these two, just to make it a little clearer, uh, what has the minimum here? Well, it's gonna be the 40, because that adds up to four. So I guess the function itself is a little unimportant, but just the idea that you can uh, sort by any custom function of your own creation, super helpful. Thanks for watching.